Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that attacks the nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. After becoming diagnosed with ALS, the person will lose all voluntary movement and essentially become paralyzed. An individual diagnosed with ALS will have an average lifespan between two and five years. There is no known cure for this disease. Rich Abbey, a University of Utah alumni, was diagnosed with ALS six years ago. Due to his loss of motor function, Rich is unable to speak. His son Drew now must speak on his behalf. I was aware of ALS briefly prior to my being diagnosed with it. A man who worked for one of my biggest accounts died from the disease. I saw him for the last time at his employer's Christmas party in 2006. It was tragically shocking. He was slumped over in a wheelchair with no use of his legs. He couldn't raise his head or speak. I attended his funeral two months later, not knowing I was going to be diagnosed with ALS in a little over two years. When I was told I had ALS, I was alone with my doctor. I bawled like a baby, which anyone who knows me will tell you is completely out of character. I told my ex-wife first, and she and the boys met me at the house. We shared a lot of hugging and crying. Living with ALS is obviously difficult, even though my progression is slow. My speech has gone from slow to slurred to almost impossible at present. It's the single most horrible symptom for me. I went from a tremor in my right leg to a biomechanical failure in my right leg that wouldn't let me run anymore. From there I started having problems with both legs. I started to trip and fall, and now I use a power wheelchair outside to make time. My hands are following the path of my legs and they're getting very weak and losing function. I'm so stiff it's really difficult to get dressed, shower, brush teeth, shave, or do anything. My world is in slow motion with no ability to be spontaneous. I fought tooth and claw each step of the way, and I have scars to prove it. In the U.S. alone, as many as 30,000 individuals are affected by ALS each year, and 5,600 people are diagnosed. However, there are organizations such as the Iron Fire Organization to raise money and awareness towards ALS. The Iron Fire Program was created several years ago to strengthen the ties between the Fight Over Fate International Fraternity and the ALS Association. ALS is the international charity of Fight Over Theta in recognition of our fraternity brother, Lou Gehry baseball's original iron horse, who is a member of our chapter at Columbia University. ALS is commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. The luckiest man on the face of the earth. To become an Iron Phi, a member must raise a minimum of $1,000 to compete in an athletic event. To become an Iron Phi chapter, that chapter must raise at least $10,000 in an academic year. The Alpha Chapter of the University of Utah has become the most recent Iron Phi chapter raising over $15,000 this past year. My name is Andy Tominaga. My name is Elliot Lee. Paul Kim. Jamie Alfaro. Hayden Peterson. Brandon Riddle. Kenny Butler. Kevin Carter. Nathan Peterson. I've raised over $1,000 for Iron Phi. I've raised $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. I've raised over $1,300. Over $3,000. My Iron Phi event will be a 5K. Run a 5K. I've ran a 5K. The Reebok Spartan Race. The Rage Olympic Triathlon. The Tough Mudder. The Utah State Weightlifting Championship. I'm running a 5K for ALS. To give back to my fraternity. To do something meaningful with my brothers. To collectively set a precedence among fraternities. Because I want to make a difference. To help out amazing individuals like Rich. To let those with ALS know that they are not alone. Because one of my close friends suffers from a similar disease. Because my great aunt died from ALS. Because ALS has personally affected myself and those that I care about.
How do you respond to organizations such as Iron Phi and ALS Association that raise money for ALS? I respond to organizations like Iron Phi, ALSA, etc. enthusiastically. I donate quite a bit of money myself to several charities and help with fundraising when I can. Still, life is good and I'm not dirt napping yet. Improvise, adapt, and overcome.